In this video, we look at the top of the hill about channeling the water in the hill to one place where um, uh, okay, we are here in the top of the hill now so all this uh, water will be coming down from the hill towards the uh, left hand side it's a pretty big hill um, so you see along the fence here I've uh, fixed the um, roofing sheets uh, at the bottom so this will prevent water gushing down into this area but it will channel them down into that uh, side where you will come down, flow down towards uh, towards the gate and then uh, on this area, when, when the rain uh, falls onto this area uh, it will flow towards the left I have already done the uh, brick wall along here <coughs> This is only about two or three bricks high, and hopefully the water will you know, flow along the brick and uh, down towards the gate as well. So that's where I will be putting the pit. Um, before this wall was done, uh, whenever it rained, water used to be flowing down towards uh, the um, swimming pool area. Uh, it, it is a, a problem. Um, every time it rains, we need to clean up the pool area. So this problem we have, uh, you know, identified an opportunity, and it is now a great uh, will now be a great asset where you know if we can uh, trap the water into the tank. <coughs> so water flows down onto this side as well, uh, down towards the pool area. So up here, uh, you like our um, rock path. At a late, later stage, I'll extend this uh, brick wall up here along this um, area. <coughs> so that will maximize the uh, channeling of the wa rainwater down towards the uh, gate area where the pit will be. Let's go down have a look. Um, <coughs> I'm actually on the home run now. There's only about 40 or 50 bricks left to go. Um, here on this area, it's only about two bricks high. I think it should be enough to um, to stop the water flowing into this uh, left hand side. So another hour or so, we'll be done. Okay, an hour later, there you go, one brick left over, how cool is that? Thanks for watching.